Hi guys, my name is Amy Cho, golf professional. I'm getting ready to hit my second shot here. But as you can see, there is a tree in my way. So today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to hit over trees. Ta-da! Subscribe, like, and comment down below how your golf game is going. Now, back to the golf lesson. I have about 100 yards to the flag and it's into the wind. So if there was no tree, I would have hit my pitching wedge for this distance. To clear this tree, I'm gonna show you three important things for you to remember. And if you remember those three things, you will clear the tree every single time. So the first thing to rem remember is when you grab the desired club, then you want to do this. You want to step on the club face, but you don't want to damage it. So you gotta be careful doing it. So you're gonna step on it. And this shaft is actually going to tell you exactly how, how high the ball's gonna come off the club face. Literally shows you the loft of the face, right? So if you take a look, it's actually borderline. If I don't hit it, well, I think I'll clip the tree. So that's no good, right? But I think I might hit the tree, but let me go ahead and hit my regular pitching anyways, just to find out. Oh, right into it. There it is. <laughs> okay, so in this case, you probably want to give up a little bit of yardage, even if you're 10, 15 yards short of your target, you want to either do one of the two things, grip a shorter club, which has more loft on the face, it'll give you higher height. And, or you want to go ahead and open the club face to give it a little bit more height. But there's a catch. If you open your club face, the ball's going to tend to veer right a little bit. So you want to aim about three to five yards left of the target. So let's go ahead and try that, okay? So I'm gonna grab my pitching wedge and then I will go ahead and open the club face ever so slightly. And then I'm gonna aim left and see if I can clear that tree. Oh yes, it worked. As you can see, I'm about 10, 15 yards short, so I'm just off the uh, fringe, okay? So that was the point number two. Now we're moving on to point number three. The most common fault I see in this case is when you're hitting, you want to clear the tree so bad. So what do you do? A lot of golfers usually try and help up to try and get that ball up in the air. But if you do this, you're going to actually lose ball speed and lose backspin. So the ball is actually gonna start off lower and dive instead of going up high, okay? So what you wanna do here is instead of helping up, you want to hit down on it. If you hit down on it, it's gonna pop the ball up in the air, give it nice height. And also that's going to put a little bit of backspin on the golf ball. So the ball flight is going to be nice and piercing and high. So now let's combine all three things and then hit this shot. So pitching wedge, I know it's borderline. I'm gonna open the face, aim left, and then I'm gonna try and hit down on it to help the ball pop up. All right, that was nice and easy. It wasn't even close to clipping those branches. Today I showed you how to clear the tree by going over it. Remember those three points I showed you? That way you'll be able to clear the trees every single time. I hope you're able to follow along. If you have more questions, please come to my website's Ask Amy section. Leave your questions and comments there. Get back to you guys on those. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. If you're interested in taking a private online lesson with me or you want to learn more about the core deck swing, please come to mpswing.com. See you there.